Welcome to Daily Magic, a cozy, growth-minded, sparkly corner of the world. I'm Shayna Wexler, a seer and channel, and a singer-songwriter. Sip tea with me as we steep in the abundant magic that dances through our lives and connect to the depth of magic within ourselves. Hello, my beautiful friend. I am so happy to have you here. Picture this. You've been out and about for the day, and upon returning home, as you approach your doorstep, a colorful envelope comes into view, propped gently against your door. As you come closer, you can see that your name is scrawled gracefully in a beautiful script across the front of the envelope. Curiously, you stoop down to pick it up, turning it over to reveal a charming wax seal on the back. Upon further inspection, you see little artistic doodles covering the envelope. Someone has put time, energy, and joy into creating this for you. You unlock your front door and step inside placing the card on your counter. You turn on your tea kettle, and while waiting for it to boil, you mindfully wash, cut, and plate a piece of fresh fruit for yourself. Your teapot begins to squeal. You open up your cupboard, pausing briefly to decide which mug feels like the perfect fit for this occasion. You take your selection down, turn off the kettle, and reach for your favorite tea leaves. As you open the container, you take a full moment to stop and breathe in their aroma. With a contented sigh, you portion out your tea into an infuser and begin to slowly pour the hot water into your mug. You set your timer according to the tea leaves you chose, and as you stand, waiting for your tea to steep, you pick up the card once more and turn it over in your hands. Again, you note the care and detail someone put forth on your behalf, and the feeling warms you. As you hold this card, you feel special and cared for. With excitement, you finish preparing your tea, bring it over to your table with the card and plate of fresh fruit. You sit, exhaling deeply as you do. <sighs> you take a couple more intentional, grounding, grateful breaths. You take a sip of your tea, and then, with a smile on your lips, you begin opening the seal of the card. A whimsical greeting card greets your eyes, and for another moment, you feel special, and cared for, and prioritized. As you open it, you see that handwriting fills it. Someone took the time to handwrite a card just for you. Before beginning to read, you glance down to see whose name is written at the bottom. To your pleasure and surprise, you see it's from one of your neighbors. As you read, you see that it's a detailed and grateful thank you note. Your neighbor has taken the time to acknowledge and appreciate a small act of kindness that you did for them earlier in the week. Wow, you think. It wasn't really that big of a deal to help in that way. I, I didn't really think twice about it. I didn't imagine it would mean so much to them. 
as you pour over their handwritten words, you can feel what a large impact your seemingly small act of kindness has made on your neighbor. By helping, you made them feel acknowledged, seen. You helped them remember they were part of a community and not alone. In that moment, the magic of this thank you note washes over you as you realize that receiving these words of thanks from your neighbor mirrors those exact feelings right back to you. This note makes you feel valued. It makes you feel seen and appreciated and cared for. You take a slice of fruit and take a bite, appreciating every detail of the flavor. You marvel at the kindness and thoughtfulness of your neighbor to express their gratitude in such a meaningful way. A sense of true connection has been made through this card. No longer just neighbors, one step closer to being friends. And now, my beautiful friend, you have just experienced the magic of a thank you note. And now that you have lived this magic from the lens of the receiver, I'd love for you to now think about who in your life you might be able to extend this magical experience to by switching roles and becoming the writer and sender of the thank you note. While in that visualization, you may have realized that the magic of a thank you note lies beneath that larger umbrella of the magic of giving from episode seven and shares in its incredible quality of creating magic benefit and uplifting sensation for both the giver and the receiver. And as I thought about this topic in preparation for this episode, I began to realize that the magic of a thank you note has only increased and become more powerful over time. And I don't know about you, but when I was growing up, writing thank you notes was an expectation and actually a bit of a chore. <laughs> After each holiday or family visit, my mom would clear off our dining room table and set out a collection of handmade <laughs> rubber stamped cards that she had created. And she would make me and my siblings sit down and write thank you notes, even if it was for <laughs> That sweater that I really didn't want to wear or that small check that would be immediately deposited into my college fund for me to <laughs> never see for years, right? And of course, from time to time, thank you notes were fun, but mostly they felt like an obligation. It was polite and it was expected. Fast forward to present day, however, a time when no one, <laughs> no one writes anything anymore. We don't even write our own grocery lists by hand at this point. We are now, now we're living in a time when a text message absolutely suffices as a thankful acknowledgement. We can absolutely go, oh my gosh, thank you so much. I really appreciate XYZ, send off that text. And that absolutely works as a thank you in the current age that we are in. But it's that because it's acceptable and because that works and because that's, that is the current day expectation, that's when we realize that it's because of that, that there is currently so much power in the act of a thank you note in this day and age, because the societal expectation for it has all but disappeared. No one <laughs> expects a handwritten thank you anymore. And that is precisely why it is now such a magical act of giving. It's unexpected. It's surprising in a positive way. And in our busy lives, we can all immediately appreciate the time and energy that goes into that kind of a gesture. Speaking of thoughtful, supportive gestures, I want to deeply thank each of you who have signed up to be Daily Magic monthly supporters. When you become a monthly supporter, you are contributing either a dollar, five dollars, or ten dollars monthly to help support the continued growth of this podcast. And your belief in me and support of this passion project means 
so very much to me. It means so, so much to me. And I cannot thank you enough, truly. And if you are interested in becoming a monthly supporter, just click the link in the show notes. The sign up is very quick and very easy. And to show my gratitude <laughs> in the most apt way possible, when you sign up to contribute monthly, I will handwrite a special thank you note, decorate the envelope and snail mail it to you to thank you so much for helping and supporting me by signing up to be a monthly supporter today. Thank you so much. Not only has the power of a thank you note changed over time, but my relationship with writing them has changed dramatically as well. I have come to learn that writing a thank you note can actually be a lot of fun, and I definitely have my mom to thank for that. Over the years, she has continued to send me regular thank you notes, and each time I receive one, I can feel, I can truly feel, feel the fun that she had creating it. Her thank you notes and the envelopes that accompany the thank you notes are absolute <laughs> works of art. I have saved so many envelopes from her. Um, she tries different scripts and different fonts out on, on the address and on the name, which is so fun to see every time I receive one of her cards. Many are smattered with stickers and doodles and quotes. Some cards, some, if, you, if you're really lucky, some cards will even reveal that they have concealed confetti in that that comes kind of just falling out into your lap as you open it. Um, or sometimes even the occasional coupon. So there's, it's like, it's always an exciting adventure uh, to open up these thank you notes from my mom. And actually my favorite envelope that she has ever sent me is one that she addressed to me in a neon graffiti script. And it was so unexpected and really, really well executed. And I just love it. And I've definitely saved that and, and just hundreds of other thank you note envelopes that she has created in the past for me. And she just puts so much creativity and so much joy into her thank you cards. And they're truly a gift to receive. And beyond the flashiness of actually the cards themselves, she also does this amazing job of making a mental list of many moments, large and small, that we share together when we're together. And she feels grateful for all those things. And so she compiles this mental list of all of these moments. And in the thank you card, she lists each of them out and shares really authentic emotion through her words. And when I read her thank you notes, I feel feel like so many of the gestures that I have made to take care of her when she's visiting, that they're being noted, that they're being appreciated and being acknowledged. And of course, that's magic for me to have that acknowledgement, right? So over the years, I have taken a page from her book. And when I now write thank you cards to people, I choose to make it a moment where I use the magic of slowing down episode three and the magic of tea time episode one to make it a really enjoyable event. And for me, I love, <laughs> I love using my fountain pens to write my cards because it makes me feel like I am in a Jane Austen novel, which always feels good. And my mom is actually the one who has supplied me with my fountain pens over the years. Um, I had just like a beautiful kind of light blue steel one for a while. I still have that one. And then a while ago, she gave me this rose gold one that is so demure and just so like, oh, it's so fancy and beautiful. And I just, I just absolutely feel so truly classy when I write with that one. And then actually today, truly literally <laughs> today, uh, she was visiting and she surprised me with a new fountain pen. And this one is funky and it has all these like pink swirls and designs on it. And I am really excited to fill it and use it um, on my thank you card to her uh, for the for the pen. I will be using I will be using that new fountain pen to write a thank you for the fountain pen. <laughs> So already looking forward, already looking forward to that. And I'm also a very big fan of the wax seal. I'm a big fan of the wax seal because again, it immediately transforms me into the heroine of a period piece. I am suddenly in Pride and Prejudice, Sense and Sensibility. It is me and it <laughs> just feels very dramatic in a really 
lovely way. So I've realized over time and had the experience of the fact that the writing and the giving of the thank you card can be magical for us, the giver, as well as it is certainly magical for the recipient. The win-win magic of giving, folks. <laughs> And thank you notes are not the only thing that I have been dedicating a lot of time and attention to. And in fact, I'm feeling so giddy, so giddy that this is the moment that I get to let you know that I have been digging in so deep and putting a lot of massive action into something brand new that I'm so eager to share. I'm so, oh my God, I'm so excited about this. <laughs> It's like welling up in me so strong. I'm so excited to, to, oh God, I'm so excited to tell you about this. So I have created a one-on-one -on -one 12 week coaching course called Reignite Inspiration. And this coaching with me is for anyone who's feeling blocked or burned out. So whether you are blocked in your creative work or you're just feeling unable to connect to the joy of life around you, that, that inspirational just joy of life, I've designed this holistic spirit, mind, body, and emotions-based coaching that is not only going to dissolve your inspirational blocks, but will also create and teach you your personalized roadmap to the source of your inspirational flow that you're going to be able to tune into time and time again. And each of the 12 weeks of coaching is customized specifically for you based on the nature of your blocks, where you're holding them, your lifestyle, your goals, your dreams. And I'm so passionate about this because I feel that inspiration is really a matter of quality of life. I really see inspiration as being something that is so important to quality of living, how we are living. It really underscores everything in our experience. The vision that we have to create, the way that we see the world around us, the motivation we feel towards our relationships, it really shows up in everything that we do. So if we're feeling blocked, it can really impact us negatively in so many areas of our life. My coaching program, Reignite Inspiration, is really my life's work to this point and it sounds kind of dramatic to say that but i was realizing this is really like my life's work because it's the culmination and combination of so many of my gifts my skill sets my passions i have drawn from my gifts as a seer and channel as a singer songwriter and creative as an acrobat and yogini and dancer as a holistic vocal coach everything i have used all of these experiences to uncover the core nature of inspiration. And I am so, so, so thrilled. Like I am thrilled, I'm truly thrilled. <laughs> Let's say it again, I'm so thrilled to now be able to help others dissolve their inspirational blocks and live a life in the beautiful, joyful flow of inspiration. If this is resonating with you or piquing your interest, I would love to book a cozy little no pressure video call with you to just connect, hear about you, answer any questions, and see if you would be a good fit for this one-on-one -on -one coaching with me. So if you're feeling excited about this, just send me a little email at shanawexler at gmail.com or write the word excited in the comments below, either on Spotify or on YouTube. Just write the word excited and I will send you a link to set up our little chat together. I am so eager to connect with you and empower you to reignite your inspiration. And as I've been spending hours upon hours each day for weeks on end creating this coaching course, I've been so grateful to have my Kanoko functional candies crafted with lion's mane and cordyceps to help me stay focused and sharp and clear. This week I use Kanoko's lion's mane vegan caramels and they absolutely melted in my mouth and had this very subtle mushroom note to it that really complemented the caramel so well. 
Kanoko Functionals is a queer owned and operated company that is meticulous about the quality of every ingredient and detail. From the sourcing of the mushrooms to the sleek packaging, they put care into every aspect and it really genuinely does show. Give their functional candies a try by clicking the link in the show notes below. And by the way, as lovely and idyllic as the visualization at the top of this episode was, I'll have you know that it was based on multiple true stories within my neighborhood. A few weeks ago, while I was on my way to therapy, the tires of my car blew out. And I, of course, called my insurance company to send a tow truck. And after waiting for quite some time, I had a toll with me. She was sitting with me, we're sitting there, we're waiting. And after waiting for quite some time, I received a call from the tow truck company telling me <laughs> that JK, he wasn't actually coming because he realized he didn't actually have uh, one of the parts that he was needing. And I was like, oh, okay. And so there I was and I was stranded and it was getting dark outside. And I sent messages to everyone that I could think of to be able to see if someone would be able to come pick me up and uh, take Etoile and I home. And no one was available at that moment. And so I actually dug through my contacts to find the phone number of a neighbor that I didn't know very well. Like she had, she had texted me about something I think a couple months prior, I don't think I'd even put her name into the phone yet. So I was just like looking for this number as just kind of <laughs> kind of a Hail Mary in this moment. And she came and picked me up immediately and acted like it was no big deal at all. And for me, it was a massive deal to know that I wasn't alone and to have help come from actually such an unexpected source. And so the next day, with that overflowing gratitude, I wrote her a thank you note on my fancy pink and gold stationery. And it took the time to really express just like how grateful I was. And I went over and left it on her doorstep. And hours later, she sent me a text telling me just how incredibly meaningful it was to her to receive that card from me and how much she appreciated it and how much she would love for us to get to know each other better. Only a few weeks after that experience, only a few weeks later, she and her fiance have hosted me for dinner. I have dog sat for them when they went out of town. They check up on me. They check up on what's going on in my life. I share produce from my garden with them and we all consider each other friends. An act of kindness from her and then a thank you note acknowledging that act of kindness and bam, magic, right? <laughs> magic the magic of a thank you note and i have similar stories with three other of my neighbors who i now go to happy hours with and we have a group like a group text chain we water each other's plants and we share meals and we go on walks and we have conversations over our fences and we all around actually care about one another which is incredible and such an incredible gift and by the way this thank you note magic that i'm speaking of this applies but is not limited to neighbors this offer can be applied to co-workers friends family in-laws and more <laughs> i invite you to try your hand at this powerful magic today truly Think of someone in your life who has done even just a small, small gesture of kindness and write them a thank you note. It's just, I want you to give it a try. I would love for you to really experience this magic. And then of course, I would love for you to tell me about it and tell me how it goes and what sort of connection ensues from that beautiful gesture. And actually right now in the comments, let me know who you have in mind to send a thank you note to. As always, thank you so much for spending this beautiful time with me. If you are enjoying this podcast, I would be so grateful if you would rate and review on Spotify and Apple. And also I'd love for you to join me over on my YouTube channel, Shana Wexler, for more magic. And in the meantime, be blessed, be light, and be the magic. 